All those white birds that were on the side, I, I know there's a shad spawn. They hadn't been there like that all week. Hey guys, Bassmaster Elite Series Champion Drew Cook here. We're talking about the shad spawn. Whenever the shad start spawning, whether it be on docks, grass, lily pads, anything like that, there's nothing better than a popping frog. Um, to really mimic those fish fluttering on the grass or around a dock, um, and you get to hook them good, a lot better than treble hooks, um, and you get to throw it on braid, big rod. Um, the little Spro Frog, this is the 40 Poppin' Frog. Um, it's smaller, you know, a good bit smaller than the normal 50. Uh, growing up on the lake that I grew up on, the shad that spawned were, were a lot smaller. Where, like, we're here on the, the banks of uh, Lake Eufaula, the shad that spawned here are a lot bigger. They're four or five inch shad. Um, so the little Poppin' Frog is not really necessary. But um, I take all the the blue and black one hairs or skirt whatever and I cut them but don't cut them too close you still want them to uh, not let the water get in there leave a couple of the white ones out that helps you walk it and twitch it you know keeping it in place but moving it a lot um, just like those shad are flicking up there whenever they're spawning so throwing uh, the small popping frog I like to use uh, Dobbins Champion XP 734 it's a 7.3 medium heavy rod I throw it on 40 pound Sunline um, SX braid and my, like my bigger popping frogs, I, I throw in a 735 and if I'm fishing, you know, cheese mats with a normal frog, like Mississippi River type stuff, 736, still 7.3 rod, but just a medium heavy, a little bit heavier rod and then a super heavy rod. So keep that in mind, use a nice, you know, 7.3 general rod but your actions as you throw different frogs. With the smaller frog, you know, if, you're, if you were trying to throw this on, on your typical rod, it would be like trying to throw an acorn on a two by four. You know, you're not gonna be accurate, you're not gonna be able to throw it very far. And, and even the braid, you know, going down to that 40 pound Sunline SX braid gives you a lot more castability and a lot more accuracy with your cast. And whenever you're trying to get your bait right there where that fish just blew up, on that one shad, on that one lily pad, you got to be accurate. So that combination is what makes you accurate and what lands your fish. So this spring, you know, look for this. Uh, I believe probably Santee Cooper, Murray, you're gonna see a lot of this go down. Um, but use this on your home lakes this spring whenever you start seeing those shad spawn. 